Hello everybody and welcome to City Skylines. We are back everybody. Welcome, welcome back. This is Springdale. This is City Skylines episode 29 and today we are working on our city that's all squished into one little tiny space that will be expanding in the near future. We have these three squares and this area over here is the first area where we won't have it so squished. We're going to have it squished up to this road here, so we can have all this squished together. And then after this, this area here is going to be where it starts spreading out, because eventually we're going to buy this square as well, and we're going to spread out on this area, making it less squished together like a normal city, kind of inner city, and then outer cities. And then maybe we'll install a mod where it allows us to buy as many good squares as we like, so we can continue building outwards on this map as far as we want um, to where to where we want to basically so that is the plan and I think that works well let's just check everything is fine uh, rubbish looks all right as far as I can see there seems to be a couple of problems over here not like there's much I can do about it though except maybe I could add another landfill site that kind of covers this area down here I mean, technically, if I added one of these, it doesn't make too much difference because we already have a plan to increase this area. So technically, we could add another plant there, and then these guys can be sorted of their little problems, I think. Or at least they should be if they are sensible. Yeah. This guy will be sorted soon. Pretty sure. Maybe soon. Soon that go should hopefully be sorted, and everybody around here should have a, basically be fine about litter. The only other problems we might have is the guys here might complain. Everybody down here seems super happy and not bothered at all, and it's still only that guy that's just like, bro, really? I don't know why that guy's moaning. Uh, healthcare looks alright at the moment. Obviously, when we actually extend here as well, the healthcare is going to be a little bit of a different thing. Because we'll probably need some more hospitals there. Uh, crematoriums, however. We have some dotted around, but we do not have a crematorium. No, crematoriums are available there, but I don't think they need one. <laughs> Apparently, they don't need one anyway. We could technically add one of those there. But cemetery use, you know. Hospitals, however, we're looking good. Uh, fire, low, low hazard. Low hazard, really, everything looks fine. The only high hazard is over here, so, you know, possibly if we needed to, we could add another one here. Oh, you don't have anything. We don't have any availability over here, so actually, that might make sense if we add a... We could actually add the fire station to be over here. 60,000, that is quite a lot, really, but it would probably decrease the amount of hazard. I say we do it just just to make sure we have no... We, we kind of decrease the hazard here, because that's high here, and we don't want it to be high anywhere policing however we barely have any of this policing uh we could easily add a police station there just to make sure we're okay and maybe one on this road just to manage here but really we haven't got much of a problem i mean everybody's pretty much available to it and the crime rate is at five percent which is basically nothing so we're looking good schools are really down uh, what is this? This costs 75000 for a university. Now, I would suggest that we make a university. We, hang on, we already, we already have three universities in this one city. But nobody here seems to have any education whatsoever, whatsoever. So, we need to get them their education. Uh, I mean, seriously guys, no education at all? You guys have you guys have a serious problem that you haven't been complaining about. Like that is impressive. 
Okay. Right. And we could have a school here. We could put this kind of... I don't know where we could put this, to be honest. We could... We could try and... Oh, we could put that there. Or do you want to move it along a bit? So it actually decreases the availability. Hey. Uh, and then universities, however, they really do not span forever, do they? This place down here is going to have a little few problems, isn't it? I mean, there's no university at all close to this area. However, we could... We, there's nothing stopping one being added. I mean, if you put it... If you put one there... What does that make available? Nothing, really. Okay. Um... Heh... <laughs> Maybe we'll leave that for now. Okay, and transport well, we just don't care. Okay, so. Just get rid of some abandoned buildings out here. They're not gonna get re abandoned. We. we. What is this building anyway? Ah, uh, coal, power plants, not enough fuel. I don't know what to do about that. How's our electricity? Oh, we're actually not even doing perfect on the electricity front either. It's still fine. How the windmills down there really does work. Okay then, so we have the solar panel island over here. Uh, as far as we can actually go on to it, only literally there. We can't even extend it down here. We have a little port there. Okay, so what are we gonna do first? I suggest we we do we do this first, and maybe we even do. A little bit of a train station. Can we do this here? Is the train station more likely to be needed in the middle of town though? Yes. But are we going to put it there? No. Because the train line doesn't even run there. Hey everybody, calm down. We'll fix this now. We'll just connect them up like that. No problemo. Okay, so now we have the train. We have to lay down the tracks. Hang on, what am I doing? Let's get rid of that. Hang on, what have I done here? Why is that going... Why is that going... Kinda could do a going underground, couldn't it? You can kinda have the train line running.
to a train station downtown here? Yeah, we could actually. Ooh, everybody's really happy for that one. Okay, look, we we are we're actually using a lot of money here, so we're actually yeah, it's too much money probably. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Huh, we could, uh, we could still, oh, I've forgotten how to, oh, I've forgotten how to change that, I like that, okay, so we could technically ring it. Back under. Right, this and not enough money. Oh dear. Yeah. So we've we basically added a train line. As far as I know, we've added a, we've added a train line. And it goes under underground, so now Why can you not find path? Why is why is that not working? What? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm not even going to bother. Okay, so that was a waste of money. Hang on, so I can't even use trains actually because they don't work? Hang on. Oh boy. We ain't got a lot of money. Let's wait for that money to get back up. You can only add you can only add stops that are on the actual line. That goes out. Wow. 
Why does it say it's not connected? I don't know how to do that. I actually don't know what to do now. I am lost here. I, I don't know what I did wrong. How do I fix that? Hang on. Am I getting rid of all these lines? Okay. Hang on, but that, that added the new line. However, didn't connect it. Ah, there you go. Now I completed the line. Okay, problem solved. I have now got a proper line there. Cool, and uh, we can actually buy this square right here which is gonna solve all our problems okay there you have it we have that sorted there good all right we did some trains today trains are complicated hopefully I've worked them out that was uh, interesting and uh, hopefully that'll be good all right guys that'll be it for today I hope you have enjoyed this one remember to leave a like and if you really have enjoyed it I'd like to see some more of it then be guys you can subscribe to it by subscribing to this channel now, hopefully I don't mess up this intro like I did for the Bivcraft episode. And I'm going to do the end screen right this time. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye guys.